Hey everybody, this is lesson 10. Wow, I've made 10 lessons in about 3 or 4 or sometimes 6 videos, 10 minute videos per lesson. So I've probably got about 6 hours of this stuff, but it goes fast if you're doing just a few 10 minute segments a day. So let's move along. We only have 10 minutes per segment and I have to get going in a little while. So I, you know, I wanted to start out with this uh, one from lesson nine. And this is the guitar fretboard, as you know, that I have with the notes attached to it. I especially attach them with sticky paper. Okay, ha where's the sticky paper? Hey, where's the sticky paper? Well, I'll tell you, you know, okay, because people got questions in their mind. At what's going on? Here's the sticky paper. Here's a set of C. That, that is just a that's just a, a design, but it actually is uh, what it looks like. It's a colored keyboard there. Okay, that I put on the side. I put it on the side of it. Not just for razzle dazzle. When when I was first starting these colors, and you see all the white notes, I've now since only have one white note left, and that's F. D I've has gone to purple. A has has shown through at to be light blue, like skylight blue. And uh, that's what that's about. So I I. I take these uh, these little guys here. I don't have the other one. I guess that was from what I had. Oh yeah, it's the other envelope. Okay, but this is from two years ago. And these are the fretboards. This is like the, the first fret. It starts here, it's the longest. And they, as you go up the fretboard, they get shorter and these are measured pretty close, as close as I want to be insane about but they really should be just made slightly smaller so it, when it comes down to a half of a millimeter and that would be a half of that little the little tick mark on on the ruler there okay be a half of the little tick mark on the ruler you can almost see it put something white in back of it you can see it there's no light for me down up up here okay uh down here under the keyboard where the camera is anyway um it's down to a half a millimeter and if there's a discrepancy i go smaller that that's the rule because you don't want it going up and getting involved with the string okay it gets all the way up to the 20, 21st fret, fret up here, and they're very thin. You know the frets are thin. And this is sticky paper. I just bend it, get the corner, and peel it off, but I cut them first. That's how my keyboard works. All right? That's the way I've always done it. I've always been you know, that kind of a person. Yeah, I put masking tape on it and wrote on a magic marker at first. You know, because uh, that's, I was a keyboard player. And I was like, you know, really into it in college. And it took me six years to get through college. That's another story. So, but it does play. It plays. Now that's a B minor on this, according to this fretboard map here, right? This this C key inlay design, piano keys on the guitar. This is just pretty much this, right? Looks similar. It's that kind of thing. I'm supposed to be going like reading this because I can't do it. Ah, uh, 
it turns out it's just for fun, you know. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the thing is, when I play that B minor, it actually comes out G minor on on uh, a piano. So what I did was I, I I tuned this piano to match this. So this is an A flat instrument. Okay, it, so an A flat instrument. So if I play an E minor, okay, which would be like this. What time is it? Um, that's a joke, son. So I play an E minor. It's actually going to come out a C minor on a old upright piano which you ain't changing the tune on an old upright piano unless you have a tuning pitch or a, ch a pair of channel locks and a very large wrench so you, you, you just clip the channel locks on that on that uh, square rounded um, nut that they have you clip and then you have to take the wrench and turn that because it's really hard to change tuning on a piano i've done it though i've done it though. they have a tool to do that and then they use frequency meters now and all that stuff so that's the tuning of this so don't panic if you, you don't sound like what i'm playing we don't have sing-alongs on my uh tapes yet you know what i'm saying that uh, that VC okay so <coughs> that was played in C an old folk song open string folk song but it would really come out <coughs> in in a flat so I tuned my piano up so I could do that Okay, I tuned my piano up, and I also put it on bright piano, which is the third voice of 750 MIDI voices. 750, it's one of them things that fits into, or is it 728? It fits into, it's a digital number. This isn't a lesson on digital computer arithmetic which I have a master's in, <clears throat> not digital computer arithmetic, but uh, computer engineering. And I wasn't a lot, really <clears throat> ever in that field. Those guys were good guys, but um, really, um, <sighs> you had to be into digital. If you were into digital, you had to be into digital. And that's where all your time had to be spent. All my time was trying to spend, well, probably playing the piano. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Just dust her off a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> this very dusty setup here. <coughs> so, let's, <coughs> let's continue. I'm sorry um, for my <coughs> scratchy throat here. A little coke might soothe the throat. Check up from the neck up here. <clears throat> so, this is the piano fretboard. Okay, and it's <coughs> tuned in the key of E. <clears throat> okay. So, let's, let's stop here and we'll go on to the next video. Uh, we'll do just a little playing. Or we'll just, we'll just start to talk about what, what we're going to talk about. So this diagram underneath here is the same thing. And it goes all the way up to the 5 here. The 5 is a G. And it's red. And this says 5. That means the 5th of the key of C. The 5th of the key of C. It's a root C guitar.